Welcome to the first ever Cars and Zebras Olympic Special. How about we check out the opening ceremony? And with that, I present two cars both worthy of a gold medal, or maybe I'll just give them both participation trophies. 1969 Chevrolet Corvette L88. Ugh, just play the U.S. National Anthem right now while I weep softly in climax. It's got a 427 cubic inch V8 with a compression ratio of 12 to 1, and it was underrated at 430 horsepower at 5200 RPM and 460 pound-feet of torque at 4000 RPM. Bottom line, we are talking some serious American muscle. Oh, oh no. Does it get more American than that? It does. Why don't I zoom in and show you guys a little bit more detail? Just as I suspected, he was full of pure America. Inside you'll find a Turbo 400 3-speed automatic, so that should make launching this car fairly consistent. And check out that interior. No heater, no radio, that's how they came from the factory. I mean, this is a serious car, you guys. No jokes necessary. Sorry. That wasn't a joke. I just had too much vanilla ice cream and Pop-Tarts earlier today. Just like the rest of the car, out back, this thing isn't messing around. 456 gears, and that will definitely stab you to your seat. Som kaster i sjette omgang. This car is light. With driver, it's only 3,454 pounds. I guess you could call it a ringer. <laughs> mm, that is a really lazy joke. I guess I need to get back to training. It's bulking season, baby. You guys, get in close because I have a secret for you. This car, it's not 100% stock, but it does follow factory stock rules. The compression ratio, it's not 12 to 1, it's 13 and a half to 1. That 427, it's actually a 439. So this car makes a little bit more horsepower than stock. It was also very expensive. The Corvette Coupe started out at $4,781. The automatic transmission was $221. And the L88 package was $1,032. Not to mention you had a few other mandated items. It gives you a grand total of $6,581. And adjusting for inflation, that's around $48,720 today. And if you're going to buy a car like that, I sure hope that you have a good wallet to carry all that cash. Which brings us to the sponsor of the video. Ridge Wallet. Hey guys, Cars and Zebras here. You know, I receive sponsorship offers on a daily basis, but I've never taken one. Until now. And that's because I really do like the Ridge Wallet. It's durable, it's compact, and it's just plain cool. Let's check out my ugly old wallet. Ooh, it's so bulky and everything just falls out. How embarrassing you get to see this abundance of cash that I have. Here's the Ridge Wallet. The cards go inside, the money clips to the outside, they don't fall out. Awesome. So if you're interested in the Ridge Wallet and you want to support the channel, go to the link I provided and don't forget to use the coupon code Cars and Zebras because that's going to save you 10%. You know, people used to tell me, hey Cars and Zebras, you're kind of a four. Well, you know what? The Ridge Wallet's a 10. And if you average that out, I guess I'm now a seven. Check this out. Psh. What's up now, haters? Buy a Ridge Wallet. The L88 is a rare monster with only 116 produced in 1969. And that gets me more excited than Jeff Bezos' rocket. <laughs> Oh boy, this one is a doozy. 1967 Dodge Cornet RT, and it's got a Hemi. And Mopar guys, if you're around any sort of people, you may want to find a quiet place because this car is still with its original owner. Yes, 
This is a one owner 67 Cornet RT with a Hemi. Yeah. Buckle up, baby, are you kidding me? And as you'll see, this car has the perfect collection of parts, kind of like the 1992 Dream Team. Yeah, suck it everyone who isn't from the US. We beat you in basketball and diabetes, so what's up now? You ever eat a burger that uses donuts as a bun? I have. USA! 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 As I already mentioned, this thing's got a 426 cubic inch Hemi V8. The factory compression ratio is 10 and a quarter to 1, but this one's been increased just a little bit, up to 11.75 to 1. Factory horsepower was rated at 425 at 5,000 RPM, but that was definitely underrated. Torque was coming in at 490 pound-feet at 4,000 RPM. Bottom line, you better have a healthy heart if you want to bury that gas pedal because that Hemi is going to pound you right in the chest. Inside, you'll find a column-shifted three-speed automatic transmission, and you know it's a torque flight, so it's going to handle all the abuse that that Hemi can dish out. Factory rear gears were a surprisingly highway-friendly 323, but of course this car's been upgraded, and it now houses a set of 430 rear gears, so you can expect this thing to definitely make a splash. And then we get to the curb weight, which does not include the driver, and it's 3,726 pounds, and that gives over 300 pounds advantage to the Corvette. But you know what? The Dodge is probably a little bit more comfortable, and in fact, it's probably as relaxed as Michael Phelps after he smokes a fat blunt. And Michael Phelps is smoking some Maui Waui on his way to another gold medal. The 67 Cornet RT started out at $3,199, SureGrip was another $42, and then the Hemi option would set you back $457, and that gives you a grand total of $3,698, and adjusting for inflation, that's $30,081 today. There were 283 total hardtop Hemi Cornet RTs produced, but only 162 of those had the automatic transmission. At the time of filming, the temperature was 70 degrees, humidity 20%, elevation 754 feet, and the barometric pressure was 29.35 inches. And just some additional information for you guys, at this part of the event, this is a single heads up race only. So the winner moves on and the loser, well, they get to go home. Let's see what happens. And in an extremely close race, the Dodge had a better ET, 10.95 seconds at 125.80 miles per hour. But if you look at the victory lights, the Corvette had a better reaction time and they were able to cross the finish line first, taking the win, running a 10.98 second quarter mile at 125.63 miles per hour. Let's check that out one more time. Ed Kynes, Corvette. Jim Keys, 67 RT. <laughs>
What an absolutely awesome race. A huge thanks to the owners for bringing out these cars and actually driving them. And of course, thanks to all you guys for tuning in to the first ever Cars and Zebras Olympic Special.